Angola has had an incredible run to close out the season. The Hornets take a 20 game winning streak into the sectional semifinals. They look for another W tonight against Concordia in our signature matchup. Coach Dave Miller and the Lady Cadets unfazed by Angola's impressive resume. Cadets leading most of the night. Rhea Kaczynski strong to the bucket in the third quarter. It's good. And now to the final seconds of the third. Hannah Knoll will splash in the corner three. Knoll leads the Hornets with 11. Midway through the fourth, Cadets up just one, but then a big Concordia run. Grace Hedke knocks down a huge three. Then Hedke on the baseline drive gets it to Shantese Craig. Bucket up close. Craig puts in nine points. Hedke goes for 11 and a great finish. Helps Concordia take down Angola. Cadets win 42 to 32. We hit some big threes and I, I've been pleased with our defense all season. And anytime you hold a team like Angola to the low 30s, that's that's pretty nice. You give yourself a good chance to win then. It was amazing. We lost them um, last year in the, in the sectional championship. And so it was just really sweet to come back and uh, beat them this year. We just we just wanted to put away so bad. Woodland takes on Garrett in the early game at Concordia. A couple of great coaches and an excellent battle here. Garrett's Bailey Kellum on the move. The star freshman lays it in. She'll finish with 12 points. Really close game down the stretch. Woodland trying to rally off a miss. It's Tuesday star Ava Smith. Board, put back, score, count in the bucket and the foul. Just over a minute left. A spinning steal for Dakota Crone in the backcourt. All the way in to score. That gives Woodland a one-point lead. But with just eight seconds left, we're tied 44-44. Garrett inbounds to Morgan Ostrowski, and she's able to score to put the Railroaders in front. Thrilling game. Garrett survives with a 46-44 win. I was nervous as anybody else could be. Um, I knew I was going to get that final shot off. I was just hoping it would go in. It was a great team effort. I couldn't have done it without any of my teammates. You did a great job. and. Uh... They listen. Uh, I, it's, it's no magic that we're telling them. It's just follow the scouting report and, and believe in yourselves, and that's what they did. Now, Northeast 8 co-champ Columbia City and SAC champ Homestead. They are the opening act at the 4A Southside sectional semifinals tonight. Rod Parker, the coach for Homestead, looking for another trip to sectional champ. They kind of go there all the time. His daughter, Riley, the senior, driving and scoring. Riley Parker leading Homestead tonight with 22 points. Ayanna Patterson battling inside. She is unable to score here, but she will end up going to get a trip to the line, cashing that free throw and finishing with 10 points in the game. And toward the end of the night, some action from the Homestead Reserves. Freshman Allison Stevens able to score here, and Homestead advancing to Saturday, the final with a 53-31 win. By the way, in the first half especially, we defended. Thought we did a really nice job holding them to 10 points. Uh, we executed well on offense. Um, second half maybe wasn't sharp, but in general, I thought our effort was really good tonight. We take every game one, one game at a time, and I think my team did a really good job of focusing on Columbia City and getting the job done. So we're ready for whoever wins this game for tomorrow. Southside hoping to play ten, in the title game tomorrow against Homestead. Taking aim at Wayne first. J.C. Jones with a three. Book it. And then, right after she takes it down, she takes it away. Coast inside scores again. Five points in a matter of seconds. She would finish with 18 points. Olivia Smith dishing to Atlanta Chapman. A score in close for South. The Chapman goes for a game high 22 for the Archers. Smith also putting up some numbers. She lit a deep three here. Book it. And the Archers take down Wayne 89-29, earning a third shot at Homestead in the final tomorrow night.